Hi, I'm Garrett Young. In this video, we'll show you how to set up call forwarding using Cisco Unified Personal Communicator and Microsoft Office Communicator. We'll start with Cisco Unified Personal Communicator. In this scenario, I'll play a sales representative who wants to set up call forwarding remotely from a customer's conference room so I can go celebrate the finishing of a contract agreement with the customer team. Hey, Garrett, let's go celebrate getting this contract finalized. Yeah, let me forward my calls to Amy. One second. Okay, I'm on the guest network, and now I'll set up a VPN connection. Great, Amy is available. Okay, now I've got to go to a browser and log on to Cisco Unified Communication Manager user options. Okay, where's the call forwarding screen? Not here. Not here. Ah, that's logical. All right, now let's see if Amy's still available. I guess I'll need to copy and paste her phone number. Yikes, some human network. Come on, let's go celebrate. Two seconds, I'm still trying to set my call forwarding. Yeah, that looks like that should work. Let's get out of here. Now let's look at the same scenario using Microsoft's Office Communicator. Hey Garrett, let's go celebrate getting this contract finalized. Yeah. So let me forward my calls to Amy. One second. All right. I'm connected on the guest network. Great. Amy's available. Done. Let's get out of here. We've seen two approaches for setting call forwarding, one from Cisco, the other from Microsoft. We'll let you decide which one is best for your users. Thanks for watching.